All right, you guys, it is Tuesday, probably the only time I'll say that for a long time. But yes, we moved our team call to Tuesday night because of Labor Day yesterday. Um, a lot of you guys had plans and it just worked better for us to be on Tuesday this week. But make no mistake, we will be back to Monday nights next week. So I know we all like starting off the week like that. I do too, but I definitely enjoyed my holiday. I hope you guys did as well. Um, thank you so much for being here. We actually have like a really packed call. So I really want to get started. There's a lot of stuff coming up. There's also a lot of stuff to announce. And then we're just going to dive right into compensation because I really like talking about that. Um, it's not just that though. It's, uh, you know me, it's always something else, right? So first off, thank you guys again for being here on this Tuesday. We have a couple of things to announce. We first have our 31 strong team winners. Now you guys, you can check my math, but it was close. It was really, really close. So 31 strong again was our coach challenge back in August. So the final numbers are, I only go by what you guys told me and all the negatives were cleared. So don't worry about that. In third place, we have team rocket with 89 total points. Awesome job. In second place for 31 strong, we have team diamond with 97 points and in first place team sunflower with 111. And I will say those points came from me on the last day because I signed two coaches on the last day. So, um, congratulations. I will give myself a prize. Good job, Ashley. But the other person on the team that achieved success club in my team was Catherine Neely. So Catherine, I don't know if she is on right now, but I will be reaching out to you for your prize. And that's awesome. You guys all did great. The whole point of these coach challenges is accountability, but I listened, I heard you. Part of being an entrepreneur is changing things, right? So this month, if you guys are in school, your business, which if you're not a brand new coach, I would highly suggest getting involved with us because we're just here for it. We show up, we work hard, we band together. School your business, there are no team, okay? And here's the thing, if you don't report your, report your points into me, I don't update your points, right? Because again, I'm not going to chase you down, but if you are willing to be a part of this, then keep track of your points. If there are any technical questions about the points, I know we had some questions in the group message this weekend, just post in the group message or message me directly. But when it says max points, it means you either get those points or zero, right? So like if you achieve that bonus, you get that whole points. Like if you did invite 50 people, you give yourself, I forget what it said, that amount of points, right? If you didn't, if you got to 20 or 30, awesome. Just don't give yourself that bonus pool, okay? Make sure you know how you're getting points because I'm gonna talk a little bit tonight about inviting to the business, right? If you're a working coach, a lot of us don't do that. And then a lot of us are like, why haven't I rank advanced? Where's my team? So if you invite at least five people to consider the business with you, that's also bonus points as well. So just check the points and know that you have from Sunday to Monday to report your points into the group message, because I will always do a leaderboard update on Tuesdays this month. Okay. Uh, plenty of time for you to calculate your points. Again, I'm not going to chase you down, but if you do report them in, your name is going to go on the leaderboard and I will take myself, well, actually, no, I won't take myself out of the running, but the top two people at the end of September that earn the most amount of points. And another reason we did that is if someone just goes crazy and invites like 200 people in a week, right? I've never done that. Good for you. That's, that's wild. They can't get more points than someone who invites 50. Does that make sense? Like if you go like put yourself out there and invite minimum 50 people, you get the same bonus points that someone who invites 300 people gets. Okay. But of course you get more points. If you rank advance, when you achieve success club points from customers, when you add a new coach or PC, because it's all rewarding the behaviors that grow our business, but the top two people that have the most points at the end of September, who also must achieve success club, uh, will get the a gift card to the apparel company of their choice. Okay. So a little friendly competition. It's just you against you. Don't worry. Don't compare yourself. Only compare yourself to who you were yesterday, but congratulations again to everyone in 31 strong and congratulations to you guys leaning in to school your business. Um, okay. So also let me do the quick school, your business leaderboard update. I posted this in team glow, but we'll go from top to bottom. So I have, let me pull up my graphic here. Okay, I have 154 points. Amanda Trader, 108. Tessa, 104. Tanya, 86. Brandy, 41. Heather P, 16. Paige, 12. Stephanie Carter, 10. I don't know why I'm saying some of your last names, but let's just go with it. Aaron P, four. Shauna, two. Crystal, one. So great job, you guys. If you did not report in, please let me know. Okay, Heather, did I miss that in the group message? 
if I missed that, I'm sorry. Um, I will update that and add you to the, the graphic. So yeah, if, if I didn't, if I missed you guys, um, I'm sorry, but tag me. I do try to get everyone's points. I could have totally skipped over it. So congrats, you guys. We are starting week two of School Your Business and it's just working your business. It's doing the things. Okay, let's move on to announcements. Okay, so here's the thing. We have this Join the Glow movement that's happening every other week in our in a separate Facebook group. The reason I created that is because number one, I have found when people get started in a BOD group and they're starting to have some success under their belt, even a couple of days, right? I want them to keep that momentum going. But what I have found is if I ask them to coach, all these red flags go up and they're like, I can't do that, right? Has anyone else had any of that experience? It's like, no, it's overwhelming. I don't have time. I can't. So what I've decided to do about a month ago is I rebranded to just join the movement. And what that means is it's not about what's going on. Is someone in underwear? Wait, I have to read this chat. Someone come in the underwear. <laughs> Amanda, what's going on? Oh, Amanda's husband. Sorry, Amanda's husband. We didn't see anything. Don't worry. Okay, so in Join the Glow movement, it's basically it's this whole movement thing of being able to have them do the coach behaviors without feeling overwhelmed. Okay, so like I like that five day thing of do a little activity and then hear from us. I usually invite two people to go live during that week so they can share their coach journey stories. Now, some of you guys don't know this, but we have a separate Facebook group that's called a sneak peek into coaching. Okay. If you guys aren't a part of that, please message me or let someone know that you want to be in that group. Uh, Tessa and I actually filmed like six videos. This is probably six months ago. I still think it's very relevant about what coaching is. So it's how do we earn? What does it actually mean? Basically, what do we do? And that is really conducive to someone who's not currently in your bod group. Okay. Or someone who's not currently a coach or a customer because they don't know anything right? Join the glow movement is like, they already know they're doing the things. They just don't necessarily believe they can do it. Okay. So that week we give them action steps. Whereas a sneak peek into coaching is six videos straight to the point. You can tag them. They can watch six videos. I know a couple of you guys use this group very often. So there's always something to plug someone into. Okay. So one, I would recommend for people who already really know what's going on with logging in and drinking shakes and doing workouts and being part of the community. And that is happening every other week. And then the sneak peek into coaching is always available. There's six videos in the guide section. If someone is interested, they will watch them, right? They will tag you in video one, you tag them in video two, back and forth. And then by the end, they're like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. Let's talk more or no. Okay. So if you're not in either of those groups, please join them. Because if we're not inviting to the business, we're not going to grow a team. And that really goes hand in hand with our compensation call tonight. Okay. Um, mixed bike is launching and you guys, it's in like two weeks, Tuesday, September 21st, the mixed bike is launching. So please do your research. And that's as simple as typing in Beachbody FAQ mixed bike. Okay. I never remember the FAQ numbers. I don't know, but I do Google Beachbody FAQ, whatever I want to learn about. So the mixed bike, there's two different versions. You can get the one that also has the dumbbells. You can read all about it. Do you have to get a mixed bike because you're a coach? Absolutely not. Right. They are priced at what they should be priced at, right? We do get our discount. We also can start earning commissions off of bikes that people can order through us, which is pretty awesome. Okay. So if you are planning to get a bike, just know which kind you want to get, know which option you want to get, know that there will be a cycling class, but there'll also be live interactive BOD cycling classes available on body as well. So all that is going down. And again, like the national wake up call said, if you haven't done a body class, do it. I have literally not made a live class, but I have done the recorded live body workouts and I really like them. So just because maybe it doesn't work with your schedule doesn't mean we get a pass to not try this out. This can be a huge launch for people, especially people who are unlike me and don't want to follow a program start to finish, but they do better kind of mixing things up. This is huge for them. You guys, this can be massive. So we don't have to stop what we're doing and then do all these types of random classes but we do need to know about it. I would highly recommend adding a membership on so you can get access to body because nutrition plus is just becoming body in a couple of weeks. It's gonna to totally, nutrition plus is gonna dissolve. Body is gonna come into play. We're gonna rock out from there. Um, okay, any questions about that? Anyone else in their underwear? Are we good? Two different types of bike. Yeah, there's like a one and a two, I think with that video, that 
post that someone shared, I think there are, it's like considered two versions. Yeah, it's in the group message. Um, do I know if the live cycle classes launch when the bike launches? I think so. I mean, that would make sense. I have to double check the FAQs because I don't imagine we would get the bike and then not, not have a class. So what I'm thinking is if I'm remembering correctly, there will be an actual BOD, BOD program with the bike, but there will also be live interactive cycling classes that people can start on September 21st as well. Okay, so Crystal's in her underwear on site. Hey, you, no judgment, you guys. You can be in whatever you want. As long as we're not flashing people, even then just give a warning, I'm cool with it. Okay, the bottom, the job one, but yes, but I've also heard that there is going to be a specific biking program. Yeah, job one is not the bike. So you guys know that's Jennifer Jacobs. But I, if I remember correctly, I thought they said there will be an actual bike bod program. Did I just confuse you guys all? Okay, we'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. All you have to know is bikes are coming in two weeks. Okay. Um, okay, the last thing I'm going to create and share with you guys is uh, I had a meeting with Tessa today and we were talking about how to get people started right. It's kind of what I always come back to is how do I get people started right? If I'm getting a coach started right, I have, we're experimenting with this new coach group message. It's two weeks in length and it starts on the off weeks of the glow movement. So if someone signs up during glow movement, the following Monday, there will be a two week long group message. They learn how to post, do personal development takeaways and start to invite their friends and family. We're gonna know within two weeks if they're gonna take action on their business. If they do, great, I work with them more and then they hopefully join this coach challenge the following month. That is my progression for adding a business builder. For customers, I send them a welcome email. I also have a Google form for them that asks questions like, what are your goals? What equipment do you have? What has stopped you in the past? Like, and I can share that form with anyone. You don't have to create a form. You can simply talk to them. But the one thing that I'm gonna create for you guys that you're welcome to tweak and share is we already have a template for a customer checklist. So what I'm gonna do is tweak it. And when I do sign someone up, I'm also gonna just send them a picture of the checklist. And it's gonna be like downloaded the bot app, took my photos and optional measurements, talked to my coach about what program to start with, watched the two videos of 2B Mindset and Portion Fix to decide which one best fits my needs, looked at Shakeology recipe. You know, I'm gonna include like 10 things that instead of me having to voice memo the heck out of them, I'm gonna send a welcome email along with a Google form and a checklist. Okay, so you guys are welcome to take that. I think the more comfortable we feel in bringing people on, the less we ever feel like we didn't help people to the best of our ability, right? Because even with the prettiest graphics, some people are gonna do this and some people aren't. But you will feel better knowing I have everything in place for this person to succeed if they take action, okay? So I love creating a little checklist. So look for that tomorrow. That'll be ready for you guys to tweak and use as you would like. And if you wanna create a Google form, all you have to do is reach out to me. I'll send you mine. You can literally copy it creating Google forms is like the easiest thing ever. Um, or don't and just talk to them and that's fine too. And then lastly, okay. Okay. What, what did I say here? It's never a bad time to jump in. You guys let's get up is still showing at 140, right? I don't know if that's a glitch or maybe I missed that. It's still on sale, but the Someone can get the total solution challenge pack for $140. Even though promo codes are expired, that still breaks down to $11 a month. Oh, did I miss that? I totally watched National Wake Up Call. So that is extended. Um, it's still $140 for our least expensive challenge pack. And when you think about it broken down, I know Aaron P just had a post about it tonight. All the stuff we get for that amount broken down plus a 30 day money back guarantee. Why would we not share about that, you guys? That is so amazing for what we can get and what we can offer people. Okay. So obviously if they want 645, we don't have to offer the baseline challenge pack, but understanding that you feel confident in offering what we have is extreme value for a little investment is going to come across in your energy and in your invites and in your follow-ups. Okay. And it's never a bad time to invite you guys. My bod group started yesterday. So this week I'm like, come on, we just started Monday. This is the perfect time next week. And in week three, I'm going to say, you know what? We kicked off our group, get in now. So you can see how this thing goes, start your program on Monday. You're going to carry it through right up until our October group, where you can hit the ground running with the team and start from day one with everyone else. Right. It's never a bad time for me to invite someone to join my BOD group. Why? Because they can start a program on Monday. Right. I typically have them try a couple programs and pick one to begin with that following Monday. doesn't matter if week one has started. I want to help them no matter what, whether that's day one of my group 
or week in the middle of week three, it's always a great time to get someone started. All we have to do is meet them where they are, get them into our supportive community and have them start on Monday. And if they don't wanna start on Monday, they wanna start on a Friday, do it. The sooner, the better, you guys. Okay. Lastly, and we're gonna end with a special announcement from a coach. Um, the retreat to answer some common questions. It is open to absolutely everyone. If you are a coach in this downline organization, you are invited, you guys. It is November 4th to 7th. That's a Thursday to a Sunday, Folly Beach, which is right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. So for those flying in, it would be Charleston International Airport, which would be the closest one. And I basically want to do this. I decided that why would I why would I put stipulations on us spending time together? Now you'll see in just a minute, I'm offering more incentives if you are actively building your business, but I want us all to be together. And I understand not everyone's gonna be able to come, but I'm offering it up to say, here's all the details. If you wanna come, I would love to have you there, okay? So here are the details. Um, you must RSVP by this coming Sunday. I think it's September 12th. If you are seriously considering, all right, I need to have you RSVP that event. Yes, if you are seriously considering. If you know you can't, it's totally fine. Just click that you can't, and that's perfectly fine. But if you are serious about it, please click that you are interested. Okay, I am going to actually book a house this week. So I'm going to err on the side of more people going, um, but I'm going to keep the cost for you down to about $200 a person for three nights. So that's like really not bad when, when you consider a hotel costs over 100 any decent hotel. So that's roughly going to be your cost since this is open to everyone and it's pay your own way, but I'm going to promise to keep the cost around 200 a person. What that means is if you respond, yes, you're seriously interested. I will need to have your payment portion by October 3rd, October 4th, one month before you do not get that payment back. It is non-refundable. So please hear that because it's not fair. If a couple people end up not being able to go, that's okay but it's not fair for other people to have to pay more. All right, so your portion is non-refundable. And if someone wants to come last minute and there's room, they pay their way, they're good to go, okay? So that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm throwing it up there and being like, let's be together. You wanna come hang out? Let's come hang out. Because I don't know if someone's gonna have a moment together that changes the future of their business. No one invited me to Summit 2014. I scraped my money together and I went and it changed everything for me and we will bring our summit to Folly Beach, South Carolina. Okay, here's the thing, last two announcements. If you rank advance up until the event, up until the retreat, you will get, what did I say? You will get, uh, well, actually, no, no, let me say this first. If you, if you achieve Success Club 10 in September or, and October, at least helping five people in September and October, you will qualify for, a, what did I say? I have to make sure I said the right thing. Dinner out with me during the retreat. We're going to do a dinner together. We're going to go out. We're going to do something special with just the group of us that hit SC10 in September and October. We're going to have a little, like a little something during the retreat. If you also rank advance, if you hit, a, well, if, let's say if you rank advance, if you rank advance beyond Emerald, you can't just go from coach to Emerald because you could do that with your mom and your best friend and be there in 20 minutes. But if you rank advance beyond being an Emerald coach, you will get a shopping trip with me. We're gonna to go to downtown Charleston. There's an amazing little boutiques there and you will get a shopping trip care of me for rank advancing. If you do both, if you achieve SC10 in September and October and you rank advance, you get both. You get the dinner out and you get the, shop, the shopping trip. Are there any questions off the top of your head? What are you going for? Do you want the shopping trip? Do you want the dinner? Do you want this for your business? Because it doesn't matter if you got little prizes, but good for you to get pampered once in a while. So go for it. Um, new rank advance page. Yes, thank you. Uh, it has to be a new rank advancement. Yep. Go for it all. Woo! Okay, so I've asked Brandy to share just briefly about Brandy came to my house. We had never met. We met so many years ago on social media. And last summer she met up with Tessa and they flew together when I was living in Pennsylvania. And so I asked her if she would share for just a few minutes about just being together because in this post COVID world, like we need that more than ever. And it was out of her comfort zone. And I'm like, can you just share, can you share what it was like for the, the small group of us to be together and what that did for you? So Brandy, go ahead, girl. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
so yeah, it was totally out of my comfort zone because I'm a huge like homebody introvert. <laughs> Tessa and I had never met a day in our lives. Um, we literally, I drove six hours from my house. I'm in Louisiana. I drove and met Tessa. We spent like too many hours in an airport, literally to the point of insanity and working out with some strangers. <laughs> and then um, we really just hit it off like we had known each other forever. So it was really good because I don't get out and do things like that. I'm a mom of four, super busy. Um, so yeah, just being able to get out and treat myself was a huge deal. And I mean, honestly, thinking back on it, I can't even believe I got in a car and drove six hours alone. Cause I'm like, Oh my gosh, panic about everything, but I did it. And it was so nice when me and Tessa finally made it to Pennsylvania. It was the greatest thing. But like, I think for me, the biggest thing that week and the thing that I came home telling Chris was, um, like when we all sat around and I was like, this is what my life could be. Like Ashley's husband is inside and he's cooking amazing food for us all. Cause I mean, he can cook, but he was taking care of everything. And Ashley had her work time in their life. Like the thing that I described to Chris was simple. Like everything seemed so simple. And I know that that's not probably always every day. It's not exactly like that, but I was like, that's what our life could be like. So it really opened my eyes to be around you, Ashley. And then just being around the team, it was just like, we all knew each other, Kat and uh, Dawn drove in and it was like, we all knew each other forever. Um, and it wasn't weird at all. And it really, honestly, like I was on fire for my business when I left Pennsylvania more than I've ever been because I saw what it could become. And, um, and just created like the friendships with you guys that I don't know, like I'd never met you in person. So up until then, it was like, we were just on, I don't know, FaceTime almost all the time um, on Zoom calls, but just having that, I don't know, it's different. Having the team together brings out so many things. It was just like a huge girl slumber party weekend and we had so much fun. So everybody should come. I love that. Thank you. And to clarify, mm -hmm. Tessa did not ruin your sobriety. There was a comment made that she was like, she took a sip of a truly and it, she was like, oh, I have, I forget the wording, but it almost sounded like she was like, oh, I haven't had this in so long. And Tessa's like, are you sober? Did I just make you take a drink? And you do not have to drink if you come on our weekends. But just to clarify, Tessa did not ruin her sobriety. But um, it's so true. It's so true because we don't, we all know each other but there is something different when you are face to face or belly to belly as people call it. Yeah. Okay. She just hadn't drank for a very long time. And then she, she didn't pressure her at all. She simply said, would you like this white claw brandy? You don't have to take it. Um, it's something about being in person with people. And I know that because that really changed me before any of you guys were on my team. I put my, I'm super introverted, right? I can turn it on, but then I go and like, get under blankets to recharge. I put myself in the position of being at summit and being at super weekends, which some of you guys, there are four super weekends per year. And for some areas in the country, they are meeting. So make sure that you check in October. It's the weekend of October 15th. Um, super weekend is a four time event that is, has been virtual, but in years past we do meet. And if you're anywhere near a medium sized town, there's probably a super weekend, unless you live in complete middle of nowhere, and then you can even host your own. Um, so that is important. So make sure as you hear announcements coming up for Super Weekend, that is the week of weekend of October 15th. So I hope you guys come. Again, all I ask is that you RSVP, that if you are seriously considering, if you have to fly in, start looking at flights, start talking to your family, start figuring out if this is going to be a possibility for you, and let me know. Cause then I'm going to take that number that RSVPs, I'm going to book our house and then payments just due by the 4th of October. And I will bring in guest speakers and we will have fun. And we are getting a house right on the beach so that we can just walk to the beach and early November in South Carolina is not cold. I'm crossing my fingers that we had the same weather that we had last November, which was amazing. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please message me personally. You're not too new. You're not, you don't have to have hit milestones in your business. Just get uncomfortable and get yourself here because I promise something will shift. Okay. 
Awesome. Awesome. I'm so excited to hear you guys might be able to come. So let's jump in. We, I don't want to honestly spend a ton of time, but I want to talk about compensation. I want to, this is going to be interactive too. So I really need you guys to, to jump in the chat on this one, but compensation is that kind of call where I'm like, what do I say? Because I think back to the me nine years ago, almost nine years ago in October who signed up like bright eyed and bushy tailed. And I signed up to earn income. That's okay to say. I was a three-time corporate America dropout. I was waiting tables. I was nannying. I was working a front desk at a yoga studio and teaching classes. And I didn't want to do all of that the rest of my life. And the thought of going back to a cubicle was like a dagger in my heart because I didn't feel like I was living when I was working at a corporate job. And you guys, I lasted all of two years at a corporate job. I, I was not cut out for it. Nothing wrong with corporate America. But when I listened to my first conference call, that's how old I am in this business. It was an actual conference call. And I heard one of Janelle Summers, who is our up, up line. She's part of, she's, we're in her downline organization, share that one of her coaches had shared that her annual income was $400,000 a year. And I think my jaw hit the floor and I'm like, that's, that's not real. Like that there's no way that someone who builds a business on Facebook, I didn't even have an Instagram the day I signed up. There's no way that someone who builds a business on Facebook can make $400,000 a year. There's none. And if anyone at Beachbody is watching this, Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success or income. It's all based on each coach's individual skill and determination and all I need to say right there. But that lit something in me. And that let me dream. That was probably the biggest gift that hearing that woman share gave me. It allowed me to dream. And I was like, well, if she can do it, surely there's room for other people. Surely it's not just for her. So when I started stumbling my way through this business, not even making our, not our, our minimum success club numbers for a year and a half, just stumbling blindly, I always held on to that hope and vision. And then when I went to my first live event in 2014, 18 months later, I made a decision because I saw it and I believed it. I didn't see it in myself yet, but I saw it in the amount of people walking across the stage, in the teams they had built, in the finances they have grown, in the debt they had paid off, doing what feels like purpose-driven work. And I decided that was going to be me because no one got to tell me it wasn't going to be me. And 11 months later, income disclaimer, I left those three other jobs uncomfortably, but sustainably. And six months after that, Brian lost his full-time job as a PGA golf manager. And we freaked out for an hour. And then he, I was like, we're okay. We're okay because of this business that I have built. And you guys, let me just tell you, no one knows what's coming down the pike. Nothing is guaranteed. It would be crazy not to build this business. Even if you love your full-time job or your, your spouse has a stable, amazing job, you don't know. So why not build this? Like this was not your plan B. Because I am really grateful that I did that December of 2015, when he was fired unexpectedly, we were okay because of my work in this business. And because of the inspiration that I had in the beginning to push through the hard, to do the things that made me super uncomfortable, to invite people, to not have people sign up, to keep posting, to keep doing the things, to trust the process. Once I decided I didn't take my foot off the gas and I still haven't. I have harmony days where I unplug, but I do not take my foot off the gas in my business. There's always more people to help. So I want to hear from you guys. What I shared in this first slide that I want to talk about is mission producing activities. You have to do the things. We have to post. We have to talk to people. We have to invite. We have to follow up. We have to rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat, or we won't have a business. And if we take one day off, that's okay. But if you take two days off and three days off and four days off and the business gets on the back burner for a week, it is really hard to rebuild. And some of you guys might feel like you're in this hamster wheel of one step forward, 18 steps back. And what I would tell you is come back to your vision. What's a piece of it? And I literally want you to tell me in the chat, what is a piece of your vision that inspires you to do the thing, uncomfortable things in this business. I don't care if it's super tiny or if it's massive. What is something that you want different about your life that this business could change with your work and effort? A simple life. Yeah. And I would actually define my life as pretty simple, Brandy. And I love it because it is. It's simple. We went to Old Navy today. That was my highlight. But it is. It's, it's very low stress, you guys. We don't stress about paying our bills. We don't stress about a lot of stuff. It's not perfect. Decrease her work hours, Heather. 
What else you guys, anything, anything that you want different in your life than is different now that is, that is going on right now. Aaron, comfortably pay your bills without worry or concern and the rest then pay down the rest of your debt. Bailey, want to be able to buy presents on birthdays. Love it. Shauna, financially contribute and being able to travel. Who else is like traveling is hugely meaningful in life, right? There's so many places I want to go that I have not been. Tessa, staying home with her daughter, traveling when she wants, not worrying about buying things when she wants. Christina is being home being able to get up and go somewhere without thinking of time off. Yeah. That was huge for me. And I have to talk about vision first because nothing I'm going to say next will mean anything if we don't start here. Erin R helping people with a purpose, helping herself while earning an income. It's awesome. That's what we do. Stephanie, keeping the girls home with us and traveling whenever, wherever crystal financially independent, no medical bills on payment plans. Weekend getaway is always a possibility. Yeah, you guys, that's the stuff of life. And that's might change from month to month or year to year. But the reality is you're worth that. Your life is worth having all of that. You are already validated to have those things. So often we put ourselves in these boxes of this is just how life is. Well, not really, not really. We are only limited by our own limiting beliefs, okay? So when you start to really visualize what you want your life to be like, really visualize it, write it down. It's gonna change, that's okay. Write it down and put it in a place that you see it every day. And you think I might be kidding, I'm not kidding about this. Write it down and put it in a place that you see every day. Part of my morning routine is reading that vision that I wrote in June of 2020. The crazy thing is 80% of it has come true and I got to write a new vision. We're fast tracking our lake life plan. Okay. Why? Because it's in my consciousness every single day, because every non-response or person that flakes out on me or coach that cancels or return product is just a blip. It doesn't mean I don't get, I don't feel those things, but this vision for my life is worth me doing those things. It's worth me dealing with the pendulum of awesome things happening, not so awesome things happening. Okay. Okay. So your vision can change and evolve. The reality is making part of those visions happen. Everything you just told me is means what it means. You got to earn income in this business. That's what it means because earning income is a direct reflection of helping more people and helping more people is going to be a direct reflection with your income growing both building a team and building a customer base. So there are many ways to earn income. The first step is Emerald. So I need your participation. What two things happen at Emerald? One thing happens automatically. The second thing happens when you achieve success club. Can you guys tell me two things that happen when you become an Emerald coach? Emerald coach means you sign two coaches or two preferred customers on your team. Yes, you unlock Stephanie. When you become an Emerald coach, the Thursday after you sign up two people, as a preferred customer or a coach, you unlock the team cycle bonus earning potential. Does that mean you're gonna start earning team cycle bonus right away? Most likely not. What it means is you've unlocked ability to earn more than just retail income. You can now earn residual income based on volume growth, which is not just compensation from a purchase, okay? The second thing that happens, Tessa posted it there, you get customer leads with being at least an Emerald coach, two coaches on your team or preferred customers, and you help at least three people a month, okay? When those two things get married, they have this little baby called customer leads show up in your coach office, okay? These are people that have ordered from Beachbody without a coach that Beachbody funnels to all coaches who qualify. For those of you who have gotten leads, I have this question for you. How has having a customer leads each month with being an Emerald or above and hitting success club, what has happened? with having leads? Have you noticed more people in your coach office? Have you been able to get extra income because of that? Have you been able to earn success club points from that? If you've had any great experience with a lead, please drop it in the chat. And sometimes leads become rock star challengers. Sometimes leads like Catherine Neely become part of your coach team because believe it or not, this girl is a customer lead who is now an amazing coach on our team. 
So Stephanie's hit SC some months because of those. She's hit success club points because of orders that her leads have had. Brandy says they sign up with challenge packs after we talk to join my bod group. Yes, Catherine was a lean. I also have some awesome discount coaches that have been rock stars in my bod group that were customer leads, right? So when you achieve success club every month, which is our baseline to grow our business, and we have at least two people on our team, you're going to get leads showing up in your coach office. Do some of them ghost you? Most of them probably ghost you. I don't know if they don't think that we're real, but whatever orders they have purchased after their initial order, that is income in your pocket, whether they respond to you or not. And you're there right? But you get compensated regardless if they respond. Um, and sometimes they become this amazing part of your community that you would never have met if you were not qualifying for leads. Okay. So commission, if you think of an iceberg, commission is the tip of it. Commission is the retail commissions, the BOD subscriptions, everything we get in our very beginning stages of business. It's the tip of the iceberg. The behemoth below is volume. That is why if you're not choosing to build a team and do the activities that will grow your team, you're going to have a tip of the iceberg business instead of a behemoth business over time. Okay. Because what it's hard to picture in the beginning, but when you grow a team and simply what teach them to help people and do what you're doing, you're creating a ripple effect. You're also creating more volume for your organization. And when you're an Emerald coach, remember you start to get paid out on that volume. And I'm not gonna go into that all tonight because I don't want your head to spin if you're not, if you're new to all this, but just know that you will never be able to outsell growing volume. You won't. I, I mean, you can't sell 800 challenge packs a month every month, but if you build a team of people, it's like what can one person do versus what a team can do of helping people when your coaches are reaching their goals and helping people, you are compensated for that too. That is why it is a multi-level helping people organization. You guys, the more people we help, the more they benefit, the more we, we reach our goals, we cannot do it on our own. The only reason I'm successful in this business is because I've helped other people become successful. Okay, so here's the thing, ways to earn. There are one, two, three, four, five, six ways to earn income in this business, five on a weekly basis. Number one, can someone type this in the chat? Can I have a volunteer? Just, it's really quick stuff. I just want, I don't think I can type at the same time. All right, whoever wants to just start typing. The first way, number one is retail commission, 25%. So challenge packs, collagen, power greens, whatever it is, retail commission is a 25%, um, sorry, retail is 25% commission. Okay, 25% of the total cost is paid out to us in commission. Thank you, 25%, yeah. Number two, BOD subscription commissions, Beachbody On Demand subscriptions, 40%, four zero. You get a 40% commission when someone orders Beachbody On Demand or their renewal comes up, 40%. Number three, team bonus. Team bonus is not something I have time to go into tonight, but that's where you're paid out weekly on your volume. Number five, matching bonus. What that means is as a diamond coach, diamond coach is team member of 12. You have at least four on each leg with an emerald on each leg. Don't worry about it if you don't understand it. We'll talk more about it later. When you become a diamond coach in this organization, you get a 10% match of any cycle bonus that your team earns, okay? So if you sign up a rock star who in several months is, is making a couple hundred dollars a week in cycle bonus, you get 10% of that every single week. As a diamond coach, you get a 10% match. Fast start bonus, what is that? Number six, number five or six? I don't know, it's okay, it's all there. Fast start bonus is when you sign on coaches or preferred customers right off the bat, they sign up immediately as a coach or preferred customer with a challenge pack. They get, you get the commission under fast start bonus. Fast start plus bonus is the final way you can earn on a weekly basis. Well, not technically weekly. When you sign at least five coaches or preferred customers in a five week period, you get an extra hundred dollars just for signing up people as coaches or preferred customers with the total solution, extra hundred bucks in your bank account. Okay. Lastly, this is not weekly quarterly bonuses. Okay. When you build a team, I know some of you guys are like, 
going to get to diamond. Yes. And we're going to think bigger. We're our goal in making this a true financial based business for us is two star diamond. That means that you have two coaches on your team who have achieved the rank of diamond. Most people do this by also building their spouse or family member secondary account. Okay. It's a smart decision if you plan to build a business in the long term. So, what that means is four times a year, you can get paid out on quarterly bonuses for holding your rank as a two star diamond and above. Okay. So, hang with me. This is what blew my mind. When you achieve that rank and you hold it for at least six weeks in the quarter, because you know, people fluctuate in rank. I fluctuate like every week. I never know what rank I am. I always maintain my two star though, because I want that bonus. Um, approximately now it's, it's a bonus pool. So it all depends on how many people qualify each quarter. These are estimates. Okay. As a two-star diamond each quarter, you would earn approximately $900. Tessa, can you type that down? Two-star 900 just shows up in your bank account four times a year, as long as you've maintained your rank. Five-star diamond, just like the meaning says, you have at least five diamonds on your team is approximately $3,000 a quarter. 10 star diamond, five and five, you got five di 10 diamonds on your team, approximately $12,000 a quarter. And the last bonus pool is 15 star diamond, also known as superstar diamond. That means you have at least 15 diamonds on your team. And if that blows your mind, you have to keep putting those pieces back in your brain and saying anything is possible and everything is available to me as long as I do the things most of the time. 15 star diamond is approximately $23,000 a quarter. Now here's the thing. It is qualify at every rank. So as a 15 star diamond, you're not just earning $23,000. You're earning 900 plus 3,000 plus 12,000 plus 23,000. Tessa, you can do the math if you want. That is what you actually get paid out four times a year if you maintain our highest rank. Now it's not all about rank, right? The whole goal here, let's bring it back in, is it offering up this opportunity to other people and helping them pay it forward, right? If you do that, you will rank advance. And if you continue to help people, leaders are going to emerge in your organization. And if you can hold a rank for six weeks, you're gonna get that income in your bank account, just deposit it. Not to mention bonuses that come with growing your team and achieving elite, there are so many possibilities. And so often we get caught up in the invite when we forget about the vision and we start to understand that all of this is available to us. Money is just energy. And when we start to realize that there will always be enough, we start to clench our fists a little less and we start to get excited and say, what if? My friend has a tattoo on her, on her inner arm that says, what if, and I look at it every time we hang out, I'm like, that's just the best tattoo. What if, but what if you could build a team? You guys, people have built this level, 10 star diamond, superstar diamond organizations within two to three years. What if in two to three years, you could have not only weekly income that would be incredible, but quarterly bonuses that how many people, if you earned 40 grand showed up in your bank account, that would help out a lot. You could pay off some stuff. Shauna, I think you could travel the world on 40 grand, right? I think, I think a lot of our fears and stress would ease and we don't wake up and that just hits our bank account. We plan for that. We visualize that. And then we get to work every dang day that one day, regardless of if we end up here or here, our life is better because of it pieces of our vision start to come into place because of it, okay? The only way any of that could happen for any of us is if we get out of our own head, we understand the value that we have as a human, as a coach, and as a friend, and we get in people's inboxes. And we commit to our health journey because you cannot coach if you are not committed to your own health. Committed does not mean perfect. Committed means coming back after a crappy day of showing up, of showing that you're showing up, of building trust that you're not going anywhere on your journey. It's gonna be messy, but you're here for it. And then why would you not want to get amazingly compensated for helping people, right? Pharmaceutical reps, I mean, no offense if anyone is in that, that industry, but there's big money in pharmacy. 
right? To me, that is a, a reactive side of health. You can make good money there. But what if you could even bless more people with the income you could pull in on the proactive side of health? Because once your family and those needs are taken care of, you can start to help your community. You start to teach people how to get themselves out of debt. You can start to teach people to be their own hero. You can start to teach people to be a victor, not a victim, because you lead by example. Blow your own mind, right? Yeah, okay, so I wanted to show you guys something. And please, it's, you know, money is always weird, but I don't care. So full disclosure, I have four business centers. So every Thursday I get paid four times. I have my main business center that I signed up October 22nd, 2012. I have Brian's business center that I signed up way later than I should have. I have my second business center because I forgot to mention, when you, once you become a two-star diamond, you get to sponsor yourself and sign yourself up again as a coach. And you get to put all your orders under that second business center that just go right up to your first and create more volume for you. And then I have a third business center because I hit two-star diamond in my second business center last year. So now I have three Ashley Howards. Don't, don't worry, it's all good. Three Ashley Howards that I get paid out on every week plus Brian. And this is why I wanna show you if you're not building a spouse account, trust the, the process spouse or family member, can be a family member if you're not married and sign them up. Because it's you're not going to see crazy return on investment now, but you're going to see it if you build your business one year down the road, two years down the road. So I want to show you something. This is just a sample of how my paychecks have looked. Can you guys see my screen? Okay, this is an example. This is one business center on a Thursday. I made $122.44 on retail commission. These are the ways I just broke down in the chat how we earn. I made Beachbody On Demand commissions, $308.40. Team bonus, $2,250. Matching bonus, I made $150.20 just with my team cycle bonusing. All of that equals $2,832.04. I have no idea if this is good, bad, or indifferent to you. It doesn't really matter. But this to me is one of three more times I get paid. And to be honest, my second business center, which I don't have here, usually ranges between six and $900 a week. My third business center ranges anywhere from two, one to 400 a week. And then Brian's business center right here, this is the reason you sign a spouse, even if you don't put orders under them. This was a random paycheck he got a couple of weeks ago. Look at that. I don't put orders under him really. Now, if you're building a spouse, you probably would. Zero, 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 zero. But oh yeah, he made $200 just for sitting there because of volume. And that might not make sense right now, but I just want you to know if you have longer term vision in this business, positioning a spouse or family member coach account at one of, as one of the first coaches you sign up is a very smart decision. Because again, it might not make sense now, but as you grow your team, volume trickles up. And if you wait six months to sign someone, it, it's never bad, it's never too late, but you have missed out on the volume that has been growing in your team. So Brian's coach account, I keep him active. He orders product. He get, has a couple orders go through under him. He's, his account essentially sits there and there may come a time that I build him more. But right now he's pulling down a couple hundred a week just for sitting there. And for some of y'all, a couple hundred a week is your big first goal, right? And that's all I really wanted to show you. So, oh, this business has changed our entire life. And we used to hate talking about money but I was also 24 years old thinking I was going to die of student loan debt in my 90s. I was thinking I was gonna have to just do what I was taught as a kid to work and work and work and be home and finally see your kids, but fall asleep reading them a book because you're so tired. That's, that was my reality with a single parent, a mom who was overworked, a, a dad who left her with an insane amount of debt. I was watching someone work herself into the ground because she had no other option. And something in me felt hope and something in me felt encouraged. And I didn't know what was going to transpire in my 20s, but I knew it wasn't in my corporate America job. I didn't feel the connection to it. I loved helping people. I loved health and fitness. And I did not want to live the life that I saw my mom living in her 40s with three small children. So when coaching fell into my lap, I didn't know what I was doing, but I leaned in. I learned. I am not even an 
a quarter of the way where I want to go with this business. But just in what has happened for me in seven years of, of showing up and doing the things every day, heck, in one year, my life changed. And then the gifts that I've been given for continuing to help people, paying off little debts at a time, buying a car, buying a house, paying off my student loan debt in 2019, being a full-time entrepreneur for six years now, guys, it's lonely at the top. I want you guys here to experience the freedom, the hard work, the amazing growth, the downs, because sometimes it's hard, but the ups always outweigh the downs. And like Brandy said, my husband can make me breakfast every morning. And for some of you, maybe that's not your goal, but it wasn't ours either until he lost his job unexpectedly. And I would be remiss if I didn't say that nothing is guaranteed. No one's job is guaranteed. But like I said in my post tonight, I would bet on me. If Beachbody went away, I would start another company. I would be okay. But it's not. You have an opportunity. So are you sitting on it? Or are you going to go for it? And all that to say, you guys, it doesn't mean go stop and invite a million people to the business. It means invite every day. It means challenge yourself to also invite not just people to join your BOD group, but to join this tribe. Whether it's asking them to join our GLOW movement to learn more about helping one person, or you do invite that girl on Facebook who you're nervous as heck to invite because you know she teaches fitness classes and she's awesome. What if she says yes to learning more? You could plug her into a sneak peek into coaching. We have a new coach group message that starts every other week. You have the tools but your income will not grow beyond those first two levels if you do not also grow a team. Coaches are gonna come, coaches are gonna go. Some coaches will stay. If you stay, you are going to see your life change. I can't even tell you how your life could change in just one year. And I'll just close with this. I look at, well, no, I don't wanna close with this. I wanna close with this. Do you guys have any questions on compensation before I close? Yeah, it felt really great. I still have Crystal. I have the, the letter that says I've paid it off. It's in my bedside table from Wells Fargo. I take it out and read it every once in a while. And I'm like, we did it. Like we paid it off. We did May 23rd, 2019. We made that call. It will forever be in my brain. The peace that comes with that is amazing. Not something I thought I could do. Okay, I wanna end here. Um, judge versus jury. So I had a meeting with a coach yesterday and this came up and I've talked about it a little bit before, but in closing, you guys just kind of sit on all this, but any limiting belief, pretend that you're actually taking yourself to court, right? So maybe your limiting belief is I can't build a team because no one, no one trusts me to lead them. I don't have any working coaches. How could I ever do that? Right? That's a limiting belief. Let's take yourself to court and give any proof to the contrary. Well, I do have someone that's been in my bod group and she's getting results. Awesome. Does that disprove that you can't help anyone, that you can't lead anyone? Heck yeah, it dis disproves it. Or I can't do this because I can't help someone else get consistent in their health and fitness. Are you consistent in your health and fitness? Disprove that. Right. And it sounds so silly, but any limiting belief that you have, take yourself to proverbial court. Literally, I had to do this with a mentor in our in our day intensive. I had to write down my limiting beliefs. And then he made me say, What tell me, tell me one thing that makes that untrue. And we wrote it down. And I'm like, oh, well, I could just tell myself a new story because look at all this proof. And so something I implement every morning, every weekday morning is my book of proof. And it's a simple piece of paper that my goal, my, my proof is I attract women who want to build businesses. And every day I have to write something that proves that theory. So I wrote today about how a coach, Sandy, who has been following me for four years, messaged me to say she canceled her coach account today. I've never once told her to do this. And she said, I did not connect with my coach. I've tried so hard. I want to be on your team. Can I sign up my son under you? He's 19, right? I did not tell her to do this. My focus is that I attract women who want to build businesses and be led by me. And I write down all the proof. So what proof are you writing down? What are you going to disprove this week? Is it that you can't help someone on their journey? 
Have you helped literally anyone, even if that person is yourself? Disprove it, write it down. This is hard work, but this is beautiful work because it's how you're going to overcome. Oh, I think my internet's unstable. I hope you guys caught that. Okay. Did I cut out? Did you guys hear all that? I see some nods. All right. That's all I have. I hope that I didn't, my internet didn't completely wonk out. Um, and I'm going to end the recording. Hang around for the boomerang.